Today, I'm comparing the Honor View 20 with a 48 megapixel ultra clarity camera versus one of the best phones from 2018, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro with Leica lens technology, triple cameras. Which one is better? We're about to find out. I'm in Dubai right now and I'm on my way to a shooting range to take some photos for you guys. And then I'm going to be going to the Burj Khalifa as well to take some photos from up there. And maybe I'll take some from the ground too. And also I'll be going to the Atlantis water park where they've got an aquarium and some crazy water park as well. So guys, if you're finding me for the first time and you like camera reviews, camera comparison videos, audio tech reviews, then consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so you don't miss more videos like this in the future. Anyway, shall we begin? Okay, so here's the first photo taken on the two cameras in the shooting range. I was shooting a handgun for the first time in my life. And you can see here, there's a real difference in the yellows on the ear defenders. On the right hand side on the Honor View 20, you can see much deeper yellows compared to the Mate 20 Pro. And also if you look at the wall to the right hand side of the handgun itself, on the left hand side, much brighter whites. On the right hand side, a bit more tone there in the wall itself it's a really close photo it's really hard to judge which one is better here so i'm relying on you guys leave me a comment below and let me know which one's better in this first photo so here's the second photo taken on the rear cameras again there's a massive difference in the yellows displayed on the ear defenders but if you look at that pad just under my elbow the green cloth there there's also a difference in the greens as well and when it comes to comparing which one is displaying the most accurate colors, it's really, really hard to say. So again, I wanna know what you guys think about these first two photos. So if you guys are wondering if I was a good shot or not, check this out. Let's just say my days of training with MI7 on the set of Johnny English Reborn paid off. And I've got an interesting story to tell you guys about that because I had a pretty lengthy conversation with an actual Shaolin monk. True story. So on my journey to the desert, I was wondering how will the View 20 stand up to the Mate 20 Pro in really harsh light conditions? Well, I guess we're about to find out. So here's a photo taken directly into the sun using the rear cameras. And on the right hand side, we're seeing a lot more magentas. And on the left hand side, we're seeing a lot more shadows and contrast. And I'm not sure the AI actually knew what it was looking at on both of these cameras. I don't think there's a desert scene detection on these phones. But when I look at these at first glance, I have to go with the Honor 20. But maybe you guys might disagree. And if you do, let me know why and leave that in the comments below. And guys, you can have your say by using the polls up in the top right corner as to which one is winning in each category. And you'll also be able to see what everyone else is voting for as well. So do that now. So now let's take a look at rear video footage. So here's another photo shot in the desert, away from the sun this time, with both cameras, you got the ultra clarity mode there on the View 20 and we're just using the regular AI there on the Mate 20 Pro. Again, what you're seeing is much more depth of color there on the right hand side. And you can really see this in the blue gradient in the sky and also the amount of orange coming off the sand there. Both photos are really, really detailed. Again, I have to lean towards the View 20. Let me know your thoughts on this photo in the comments below. Let's move on to the next one. So it got pretty dark and pretty cold pretty quickly and there was a belly dancer on stage so I took these low light photos for you guys from where I was sitting. And I think you'll agree the Mate 20 Pro is a real low light master because look at the depth of black in the sky there but you're still getting the details in all the colors and you can really see this when you zoom in closer to the subject. So this zoom I actually did in post, not using the optical zoom or the digital zoom on the View 20. It's literally just done all in post so you guys can see how much detail the two cameras are picking up. I feel like the Mate 20 Pro is winning this one. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below this video. Anyway, let's test some rear low light video footage. So 
So I feel like both phones are doing pretty good, but you're getting quite a lot of noise there on the View 20 and a lot more depth of color there on the Mate 20 Pro. So in my opinion, the Mate 20 Pro is doing a little bit better here, but that's just my opinion. Now it's time to move on to Atlantis. So here's a shot from the top of one of the towers at the Atlantis water park, looking down over the entire thing. And you can see here a real difference between the two phones. When it comes to shooting non-moving objects, that ultra clarity mode is just amazing. If you look there on the right hand side, how much more color you're getting all around, more details in the clouds, more depth of green there. And on the left hand side, a really, really brilliant photo too. But in my opinion, the View 20 is winning this hands down. So on to the next stop, the aquarium. So I arrived at the aquarium and I took another selfie in pretty good light conditions this time. And I literally just whipped the phones out of my pocket and took this selfie really, really quickly. And you can see an awesome Aquaman statue in the background there. But anyway, when you look at these two photos, I was actually quite surprised to see how sharp the Honor View 20's photo was compared to the Mate 20 Pro. I really didn't spend much time focusing the cameras, literally just took them out, took the photo. But I must say, when it comes to skin tones, I feel like the Mate 20 is doing a better job. But when it comes to clarity, the Honor 20 is doing fantastic here. But anyway, let's take a closer look at that Aquaman statue. So this is right out front of the Lost Chambers Aquarium and the two photos here are very different. On the left hand side you're getting so much blacks in the photo, really really deep colors, great details as well, a great amount of blue coming off the fish tank behind Aquaman and on the right hand side you're getting a much much brighter photo, maybe arguably more detail there thanks to the ultra clarity. If you were to put this into Adobe Lightroom maybe you could make more adjustments with the Honor View 20 photo than you could with the Mate 20 but if you uploaded this to Instagram I think the Mate 20 Pro photo would do better. But what do you guys think and by the way did you see that movie? That was pretty awesome and I really didn't expect it to be. So here's a photo taken inside of the aquarium and it was very very low light in there. And you're seeing a real difference between the two pictures. On the left hand side, I'm really silhouetted there. You can't see that much detail on my clothing at all. And on the right hand side, you can actually see some of the patterns on my shirt. But saying that, I feel the colors are better on the Mate 20 Pro, but maybe the detail is better on the View 20. And I actually posted that View 20 photo on Instagram. I did do some filters and stuff like that, just to enhance it a little bit. I really like these two photos. Which one is better? Use the poll up in the top right corner to let me know and let everyone else know what you think. Now, let's move on to the next photo. So of course there was a gift shop on the way out of the aquarium and there were some cool lanterns there which I thought would make a good photo. And this is a really good example of the difference between these two phones in lower light conditions. So you can see on the left, you're getting really, really deep colors. The lights actually shining through these lanterns aren't actually blowing out the whites on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you can see it is just a little bit overexposed. And if we zoom into the lanterns, you can really see what I mean here. On the left hand side, a lot more oranges. You can see a lot more details of the gems actually embedded into these lanterns. Whereas on the right hand side, the light coming through the lantern is actually causing the picture to blur a little bit. So I think the Mate 20 Pro wins this one. So here's a photo as I was leaving the water park of some flowers to demonstrate color reproduction on the two cameras. Now on the left hand side, I really think the AI has kicked in here and really enhanced those greens and those vibrant reds. Whereas on the right hand side in ultra clarity mode, what you're getting is really great detail, but it's really not adjusting the photo for you. So you're getting good colors, good detail, but nothing is really popping there. It just seems like quite a flat photo. I really believe that if I shot this not in ultra clarity mode, we would have had two very similar pictures. But anyway, it's good for you guys to see the difference here. Which one wins this one? Now let's move on to some more night photography at the Burj Khalifa. So if any of you guys have been to Dubai recently, you'll probably know it's pretty much always under construction and there was a building right opposite the Burj Khalifa here that I stopped and took a real quick photo of. And I was actually quite surprised at the results here because on the Mate 20 Pro, which is amazing in low light, you're getting quite a lot of blurring there in the photo, 
the bright lights are actually bleeding across the image itself, whereas the same photo shot on the View 20 looks really, really crisp. The lights aren't too overexposed. You get an amazing amount of detail right across that building there. So I must say, the View 20 wins this one. I'm really impressed. Now here's a photo shot from the bottom of the Burj Khalifa tower and of course this was using the night mode on both phones. Now on the left hand side you can see great detail in those trees either side the Burj Khalifa and great detail on the actual building itself whereas on the Honor View 20 you're getting a slightly murkier picture, a slightly muddier picture. It looks like there's more of a haze right across the top of the tower there. Not to say that it's a bad picture but it's just not as good as the Mate 20 Pro picture in my opinion. But if you guys like to chime in here, let me know what you think, leave that in the comments below. So I headed into the building and they told me to go all the way up. So here's a photo taken from the tallest building in the world across the city of Dubai at night on the rear facing cameras. Both photos look really, really good. It's really hard for me to pick a winner here so difficult in fact and i'm going to leave it to you guys to decide there is a poll up there in the top right corner answer that and let everyone know what you think about this photo so i thought this would be a great opportunity to demonstrate to you guys the difference between using regular ai mode and night mode so check this out here's the night mode and here's the regular photo mode and then here's the night mode again so that about wraps up the trip and i ended up back at the hotel ordering a beer and what you can see here is rear-facing photo shot using portrait mode of this awesome Indian beer, Tiger. And if any of you viewers are Indian, just know this, you guys make awesome beer. It was the perfect way to end the day, really awesome. But anyway, let me know which blurry background photo here is better. Leave that in the comments below. And I just want to say I hope you guys have enjoyed this video because it was a lot of fun making it and there was plenty of photos which I couldn't actually put in the video itself because it would just be too long and ain't nobody got time for that. So if you want to check out those other photos, follow the link below this video to my website and I'll have like a slideshow there so you guys can check out all of the photos from my Dubai trip side by side. And if any of you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future, phone reviews, audio tech reviews and more stuff like that and expect to see some more videos from the London Comic Con coming very very soon. This photo here with Darth Vader was actually shot in the Dubai Mall. The Dark Lord seems to be stalking me around because everywhere I go I bump into this guy. But anyway big thanks for watching and a big thank you to Honor for hooking up the Honor View 20. It's a really awesome phone. That ultra clarity mode is just amazing and guys if you just subscribed, that means you're one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late.